Hey everybody, this is Peter. In this video segment, we're going to revisit the Sourcefire 3D dashboard. Um, you probably already know if you're following along with the Sourcefire videos that we created a video on the 3D dashboard, but we want to actually revisit it. There's a bunch of other little things we want to show you that you can do, and we'll probably make some more on the 3D dashboard because, like I said, there's just so much detail and so many things that you can do with it that it's pretty hard to put it into um, one video, I guess, without boring you and just doing 3D dashboard stuff for 25 minutes long. So um, we're going to do another, uh, again, another session on the 3D dashboard. Hope you enjoy it. And uh, so here we go. First thing we're going to do is click on the add button there, that little, the little plus symbol there, and we're going to type in top 10 lists and that's what we're going to name our new uh, our new dashboard here and we're going to click the add widgets button and as you can see here if you follow the other video <clears throat> that you get this list of you know analysis and reporting miscellaneous operations and so on we're going to go to analysis and reporting scroll down and add a few of the top 10 type lists into our dashboard so this is the one that we want to customize so we'll click on add again and again, and we'll add a few and few onto that dashboard. Five should be enough. Okay, so we click on done, and we head back to our dashboard here. And as you can see, by default, you know we have top ten audit everywhere, right? Nothing big. All right, so if we click on the actual button there, we can choose what we want to see in each piece of uh, these widgets. Okay, so basically we're creating this top 10 lists um, dashboard view, but we are going to add specific uh, categories of things that we want to see in our top 10. So for example, in this one, in the first one, we can choose something like, I don't know, intrusion events, for example. All right, and that will show us our top 10 intrusion events at any given point in time. <clears throat> and in our field, we can actually add classification, and that one's done. So as you can see, we can add, you know, like as you can see in the top 10 intrusion events, you have page view, 580 count, login failed, 47, so on and so on. So this will always show us our top 10 intrusion events. In our second widget, we can basically say, okay, we'll keep audit and we'll keep the field as user and we'll leave that as, as it is. And we can keep adding little widgets on here as we did already. So in this one, let's say, I don't know, what do we want to look at here? Maybe RNA events? And in our field, we can leave it as confidence or change it into whatever we want. We'll leave it as an events in this case. All right, and then we have our other one here. We use RUA events. And in our field, again, we can choose detection engine, event, IP address, user, whatever it may be. So now you're seeing that all these little widgets are actually populating. You'll see the top 10 intrusion events now, guys. We have, you know, attempted information leak, so on and so on. And uh, again, it takes a little while for this info to, you know, go grab it from the back end and present it to you in the front end. But you'll see that it's actually slowly populating. You'll see our table here for our last widget. We're going to choose vulnerabilities and we can use, you know, bug track ID, date published, so on and so on. We'll use description here. We'll let that go up and you'll see now a bunch of our little widgets there are actually coming up and showing us what uh, what's top 10 for those specific categories. It's pretty cool actually that uh, you get this functionality because no other IPS that I know of being a consultant for 10 years actually gives you this much detail and the ability to customize your um, your dashboard or the view any way you see fit. So here we're just highlighting some of the things and you'll see there you get you know descriptions once you highlight some of the actual categories that we see here. And that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for coming out. We hope you enjoyed the video and uh, look forward to seeing some, some additional Sourcefire videos soon. Take care.